flag hoisting ceremony. We now welcome the 11 country flags to the Dolphin Hall. We begin with the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. Brunei Darussalam. Malaysia. Republic of Indonesia. Lao People's Democratic Republic. Kingdom of Thailand. Kingdom of Cambodia. Japan. Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Yeah. <coughs> Republic of Singapore. Republic of the Philippines. Thank you. We will now sing the national anthem of the Republic of the Philippines. <coughs> Sa 
National Anthem of the Republic of Singapore. Participating youth, you may now set the flag to the stand. Rock, sa kanan. Rock. Tangang bang pa kanan. Good. Manda sa pagsuksok ng watawan. Huh. <coughs> Participating youth, you may now return to your line. Hello, uh, one, one. We will now invite the national leader of the Republic of the Philippines, Ms. Junelle Ang de Vinagracia, to deliver her message. Mr. Keniche Kumagata, Ship Administrator, Mr. Tetsuya Yoshida, Deputy Administrator, Ms. Chika Haruna, our Chief Admin Staff, our other Admin Staff, Facilitators, National Leaders, PYs, good morning. For the last three weeks, we busied ourselves with learning about the different topics of our discussion groups. 
learning about other people and other countries. Today, we embark on our third country immersion to Indonesia. We will again try to learn and share with each other the unique things we brought with us. More importantly though, this is our chance to learn more about ourselves. We emptied into this ocean of adventure a kaleidoscope of unique personalities such that some of us may have forgotten where we came from. This is only our third stop. Let us not allow the mystique of the unknown swallow who you are. Keep the sail, but never lose the sight of the shore. And in the process, please remember that whatever we leave and share must be anchored on the specks of Seiya. Good, but meaningful. Moving, but relevant. Special, but educational. When we were in Japan, most of us didn't miss out going to Shibuya to take pictures with Hachiko. He is an immense symbol of friendship and loyalty. <coughs> Values that transcend race, space, and time. I hope that the country programs in Japan, Cambodia, Thailand, and Laos, and soon Indonesia and Malaysia, will teach us to explore avenues to build lasting friendship and define loyalty. Let us create memories where pictures will simply be affirmations of our journey and henceforth embrace the tradition of Seiya as timeless hachiko of diplomacy, tourism, and friendship. Let me take this opportunity to thank the government of Japan for the continuous investment accorded our ASEAN and Japanese youth, and of course, the very warm welcome of the kingdoms of Cambodia, Thailand, and Lao PDR. As a way to give back, let us pledge to do and strive harder and best our previous and beat our previous best in order to show that we are worthy of the investments. Let not sickness or influenza hinder us. Let us always pray for good health, pleasant weather, and the wisdom and knowledge to come up with significant programs and projects that will have positive impact, impacts to ASEAN and Japan. Let the SEAP flag lead us into a productive and successful journey with God as our armor. Mabuhay tayong lahat. We will now call on the national leader of the Republic of Singapore, Mr. Leong Fok Singh, to deliver his speech. Mr. Kenichi Komakata, Administrator of the 44 SIAP, National Leaders, Facilitators, Admin Staff, and all participating youth. A very good morning to all of you. Tomorrow marks exactly one month since we embarked on this incredible journey starting in Tokyo. I am reminded of my own experiences as an ex PY back in 1992, where SIAP proved to be inspiring and eye opening, and I saw much of the world to the eyes of my other fellow PY on board. I would think I can say the same for all of us here, and that this has been an amazing experience so far. Over the last 44 years, SIAP has cultivated friendship between youth ambassadors of ASEAN and Japan. It broadens the youth international outlook and promotes mutual understanding. This year is particularly significant as we celebrate 50 years since the formation of ASEAN. Singapore is proud to be part of this program to help achieve its vision of developing confidence and resilience youth for Singapore. As you embark on this exciting journey, I encourage you to make full use of these opportunities to explore new perspectives, exchange ideas, and create lasting memories. The friendship that you build will form the bedrock of a cohesive ASEAN-Japan community and enable us to weather future challenges together. 
at the end of the day, Siap does not end after 52 days of voyage, but is merely a gateway to a lifetime of opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. This has been the flag hoisting ceremony hosted by both the Republic of the Philippines and the Republic of Singapore. We now declare the ceremony closed. Closed. Thank you.